After days of public prayer, NBC Charlotte has learned 16-year-old Divine Simpson has passed away. Simpson was the quarterback for Independence High School. We don't know what led to the teen quarterback's sudden death, but we do know he was found unconscious a day after playing in a football jamboree. He died eight days later. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly has been following this heartbreaking story. And Ashley, so many people here wondering exactly what happened. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of answers this evening. There really hasn't been a lot of information released in terms of what led up to this young 16-year-old's passing. But what we do know, as you mentioned, he did play football the day before he was found unconscious. And at the time, his sister told us her brother didn't deserve this. It was Friday, August 10th. Junior quarterback Devine Simpson played what would be his last football game as Independence took on Crest High in the Cleveland County Jamboree in Shelby. The next day, Saturday, August 11th, his coach says Simpson was found unconscious and was rushed to the hospital where he was placed in a medically induced coma. And for the next eight days, prayers and support poured in. His team, seen here, held up his jersey on Team Picture Day. Providence High painted his number on their field and teams, including Hopewell High and Northside Christian, wore his number on their helmets. And we are supporting him this Friday night. Our prayers are to you. To you. Then, the evening of August 19th, heartbreaking news. Simpson's family saying the young 16-year-old had passed away, and the prayers so many had been sending turned to tributes. Independence football coach Mike Natoli saying, we will honor him by how we live our lives and how we love each other. And friends like Taylor Clausen remembering Simpson as a great friend who she says positively impacted so many at Independence. She says Simpson will certainly be missed. And this afternoon, we've seen several people who have come up to Independence High School and have placed flowers up at the front on the rock as a memorial to Simpson. And guys, we do know that Independence football will have their first football game against Hopewell this Friday. Reporting live at Independence High School, Asha Daly, NBC Charlotte.